welcome back in the last uh, video session we discussed about work done that's nothing but energy spent okay now let us discuss about potential in general it's nothing but voltage nothing else okay the electrical term is voltage the electromagnetic terms is potential nothing else potential and potential difference both are same okay the a slight difference is there and what is its unit volt okay uh, you should know that voltage is the unit is volt so the topic is potential and potential difference just a recall if there is a electric field and the electric field is in uh, this direction and if you have charge q moving from one point to another point which is a to b whose length is nothing but d and what is the force you apply to move from a to b is nothing but work done okay can you please recall your work done is nothing but minus q integral e dot d okay and you should know both are vector so work done is a scalar and it is vector vector dot product is between two vector result is a scalar which you know that very simple idea what is work done energy spent in moving a charge what is work done energy spent in a moving a charge for a distance dl against electric field it's understood instead of any charge if it is a test charge then i'm going to call it as qt am i right it's nothing but a test charge one coulomb what is test charge value is in general it is one coulomb then energy spent in moving a test charge is nothing but potential that's all. so there is no difference between work done and potential what is work done energy moved energy spent on any charge potential energy spent on a test charge okay if q any value work done q is one coulomb then it's nothing but potential okay where to where you are moving sir i am moving from a to b which means energy level of a location energy level of b location the difference between the energy level so it is called potential difference sir you are moving from a to b no no you move from zero potential to one location that is called potential at a point okay potential at a point this is from a to b that is from one location which means zero potential is not there anywhere in the universe because if you say here this is a magnetic field is a bar magnet it's giving a magnetic field sun is giving a magnetic field the whole galaxy is giving a magnetic field which means anywhere you go in the universe everywhere you are going to get a magnetic field if there is a magnetic field then there will be a potential there will be energy then work done potential is available everywhere then what i should do it is at infinity okay that is the idea so what is now the definition of potential hello this is potential different this is potential v equal to minus integration infinity to b e dot d what is the reason i brought infinity because i defined that at infinity the potential is zero so what do you mean by work done make the definition already i have given work done is nothing but energy spent on any charge against the electric field for a distance a to b now let us give two definitions what is potential difference potential difference is potential difference is energy is spent on test charge from one point to another point against electric field its unit is voltage it is a scalar quantity take down another definition potential potential is work done on a test charge work done on moving a test charge correct the statement 
work done on moving a test charge from infinity within bracket zero potential close the bracket from infinity to any point against the electric field its unit is voltage it is a scalar quantity okay try to remember this particular point now i would like to define what is potential and potential difference in the same way i would like to say potential field due to point charge okay yes like the change in the definition so we defined what is potential and we defined what is potential difference also so in general instead of calling work done i am calling as potential work done is joules potential is voltage work done is for any charge potential is for test charge now there is a point a there is a point b definitely a value is having some energy level because some potential is available b is also having some energy level some potential is available you are going to move from a to b that's all what you are going to do test charge you are going to is that understood okay remember test charge but you should know the whole universe is with the electric field you know which was created by some other charge q which is at the origin let us define it is at the origin then Point location A is at a distance of R A. Point location B is at a distance of R B. Okay, this is the generalized statement. Who is this Q and who is this Q? You should know. Here one test charge is there. Okay, that is nothing but one coulomb. But your electric field is created by another charge. Okay, that, let us see what is that particular thing. Now, what is your voltage? That is nothing but potential. Minus integral e dot dl. Am I right? Where to where? A to b. Now carefully let us recall. V is equal to minus integral a to b. Who is e? Q divided by four pi epsilon naught r square a r cap. Do you remember this? Okay, e value you should know. Now my question is, sir, there was one Q here. That was this Q. And that value is one coulomb. So I have not mentioned here. Then tell me, my dear, who is this Q? That is this Q. That is the electric field which is creating the electric field. That is that wind which is coming, the source of that particular electric field. Okay. E value is substituted. What is the DL value? You should know. That is D R A R cap. Am I right? R D theta A theta cap. R sin theta d phi a phi cap. Okay, that knowledge you should have. Then if I just do this integration minus integral q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r dot a r will be 1 d r. Remaining all other values will be 0. Now since this integration with respect to r, r is nothing but radius or distance, it is a is r a and b is r b. Then it is R A to R B. Okay, I just mentioned A is in terms of distance. Constant, we will just remove outside. Minus Q integral divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Minus is outside. Okay. Integration R A R B 1 by R square D R. And what is 1 by R square integration you should know. Minus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 by R square is minus 1 by R. Okay, R B R A. This minus and this minus will become plus. Then answer will be Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Upper limit is minus and minus plus. Okay, upper limit 1 by R B. Minus lower limit 1 by R A. Okay, who is the potential difference? Please do remember. This is something but potential difference. Instead of giving in terms of integration, I am just giving the point charge value that is due to a point charge. So, what is potential difference A to B? What is potential infinity to B? That is, A value should be infinity. There is this A value, you should take it as infinity. If you take this to infinity, then RA will become infinity. Am I right? So, for potential, come on, RA will be infinity. Am I right? So, if you try to put infinity here, 
then v equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by rv minus 1 by infinity. What is 1 by infinity? 0. Okay, that term is not there. So this is potential at B, vb equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught rv. In general, v is nothing but q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Okay. So its unit is volts, even its unit is volts. Okay. This is nothing but potential. Okay. Try to remember potential in terms of integration, potential due to point charges. Okay, potential difference as well as potential. Make a note of that. Equipotential surface. What do you mean by equipotential surface? If there is a surface, everywhere in this surface the potential is equal not zero, equal, that is, let us assume it is a metal plate, just to put a 230 volt, then everywhere it will be 230, then here if you touch 230, here if you touch 230, what is the potential difference, it will be zero, then, what is the equipotential surface, okay, make a note, it is a surface composed of all points having same potential, all points having same potential, then there is no potential difference between any two points on this surface, which means any two point on this surface there is no potential difference. In case if you consider this point to this point, here also potential is 100, here also potential is 100, then the difference will be same. Now let us take a closed path. Let us take a closed path. Let us take a closed path. So if you say A to A, A, B, C, D, A, A, B, C, okay, all these paths are closed path, which means in such an equipotential surface, anywhere you go in that particular, the total energy, so here you spend energy, here you gain energy, again spend energy, the total in a closed path will be zero because the potential difference is same, okay, the difference will be zero. Then, integration, that is closed integral E dot dl, hello, this is open integral dl, this is closed integral, this is closed path, this is open path, will be zero because the potential is zero. Okay, that minus won't come because minus zero. That knowledge you should have kindly make a note of this. It's a generalized idea. One conclusion is in a closed path, in a closed path, total potential is zero. Okay, that knowledge you should have. It's very simple. KVL, can you remember? In any closed circuit, the total potential, arithmetic sum of all potentials will be zero. No, that's what total potential gain is nothing but total potential loss. The same concept is applicable here. Anyhow, let us take one small problem, copy down, take down. Given that, given that electric field intensity E equal to minus 16 by R square AR cap volt per meter in spherical coordinate find the potential at the point 2 comma pi comma pi by 2 with respect to 4 comma 0 comma pi. So this is the question. What is the question? Find potential at this point, at this point, with respect to this point, which means where you are going to move here to here, that is the mean. Okay, at here from here, that is the mean. Okay, so please try to remember. What is the potential formula? V equal to minus integration e dot dm, that is from a to b. Okay, just a simple substitution, then later you think about what are the limits. V equal to minus integration, what is e? minus 16 divided by r square ar cap dot and what is dl you know dr ar cap because it is spherical uh, one length two angle automatically it is a spherical plus 
R D phi A phi cap R D theta A theta cap R sin theta D phi A phi cap and any help, all the other terms will be 0, this will be 1. V equal to minus integration minus 16 by R square dr. Okay, R dot R will be 1. So the limit is with respect to R from where to where? Here to here, which means 4 to 2. That is what? Very important. Otherwise, the total system will get collapsed. And the minus and the minus will become plus. And integration of 1 by R square, do this particular calculation. The final result will be minus 4 volts. Again, why one more minus is integration of 1 by R square. You calculate it, it will be minus 1 by R. Again, you will be getting the result. Okay. So, kindly make a note of it. We will do some more problem in the next session. Thank you.